Has Pete Davidson taken his breakup with Kim Kardashian a bit too hard? You might have heard the news recently that the relationship between Kim and Pete has come to an end, but is that the reason he is going to therapy, or does it have something to do with Kanye? Well, in this video, we're taking a look at the shocking reason Pete Davidson is going to therapy. Rumors of Pete going to therapy there has been a lot of news surrounding Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson recently, but one thing that has stood out from it all have been the rumors of Pete Davidson going to trauma therapy. This is not the first time that Pete Davidson has gone to therapy because of his mental issues, and he has long been open about his struggles. This time, however, the cause of the degradation of his mental health can be easily identified and pinned to one individual. You might have already guessed who that particular individual is, so let's talk about him. Kanye's Antics when the news of Kim and Pete being in a relationship with one another first broke, no one had a bigger reaction to it than Kanye. He blamed everyone around him, but he didn't stop there. He started to harass his ex-wife's new boyfriend with all sorts of posts about him, and this endless barrage of negative things directed at him is the real reason why Pete Davidson is currently in trauma therapy. You might be thinking that it isn't that big of a deal since both of those people are hugely famous, and some posts on Instagram shouldn't be able to affect Pete so hard. But the fact of the matter is that Pete is still a human being, and due to his prior mental health issues, he tends to take things to heart. Now, let's take a look at some of the bold moves Kanye has made on Instagram in the past and recent present. Hating on Pete in music video One of the things that makes Kanye Kanye is the fact that he has no filter. When a certain thought comes to his mind, he has to say it out loud to those around him. This is why from early this year, he started to post negative things about Pete on his Instagram, and then deleting them soon after. It must have been those around him or his team that must have urged him to remove the post, because Kanye doesn't take back his words that easily. One of the biggest things he did to show his disdain for Pete was mentioning and referencing him in a music video he made. In the music video, he was seen doing awful things to a claymation figure that very closely resembled Pete Davidson. It is due to all this that Pete has taken steps to get his mental health in check. This next one's gonna be easy. News of breakup. Oh, guys, guys, looking beautiful. The news of Pete going to therapy came attached with another headline, which announced that Pete and Kim had officially called it quits. When people online saw that headline, they immediately assumed that Pete going to therapy was related to his breakup and that Kim had left a hugely negative impact on him. But as we have discussed in this video, Pete going to therapy had nothing to do with his breakup. Interestingly enough, he had already been going to therapy throughout his relationship with Kim and reportedly, she was more than supportive of this action. The real reason the two broke up had to do with them not being able to be with each other often enough due to their busy schedules. Kanye's reaction to breakup. Since he was so outspoken about Kim and Pete's being in a relationship, you can assume that he had something to say about their breakup as well. When the news broke, he immediately had an Instagram post at the ready. What he posted online read something along the lines of Skeet Davidson deceased at 28. This line was made to look like a newspaper headline, and you could practically feel his joy through the Instagram post. As you can imagine, Kim had a response to this post as well, as she couldn't just leave it as it was. Kim's response to Kanye's post Ever since Kanye started posting things like that, Kim had been asking the authorities at Instagram to take those posts down. This could be the reason why some of his posts in the past were taken down. This is why, this time as well, she asked Instagram to handle the situation. Interestingly enough, since the post was directed at Pete as well, his team also contacted Instagram to have it removed. Since Pete had already been very irked by such posts in the past, you can imagine how he would feel about his breakup being made fun of like that. It looks like Kim and Pete's efforts bore fruit, since Kanye has since deleted that post, but there's no telling what he might say in the future. These are some of the details of Kanye being the reason for Pete going to therapy. In the end, no matter how famous you become, we are all still human on the inside. That brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye.